Well, children and young people, I know many of you are at home at the moment and are being homeschooled. Something very different, I'm sure, for many of you. And I wonder how it's going. This week I saw that some uh, families have been putting an offset rating in the window of their home. Perhaps they think that their homeschooling situation requires improvement. Perhaps it's inadequate. Or maybe it is outstanding. Perhaps you want to think to yourself, children and young people, how you think uh, the homeschooling is going and what you would rate your current teachers at this time. You might want to keep that to yourself though, or you might find yourself in a bit of trouble. But on a serious note, we should really be thankful, shouldn't we? Children, young people, you should really be thankful for your parents who are having to juggle uh, work life and home life and schooling as well. And uh, we should be thankful to God for all their hard work at this time, as well as those teachers who remain in schools, um, for those uh, from frontline families who are going in. Thank you for all you're doing too. Parents, I wonder how you're finding the whole homeschooling thing. It must be a challenge, but there must be part of it that's enjoyable as well, seeing the progress of your young people. Well, all of us, I'm sure, at whatever age we are, can think back to a time when we used to go to parents' evenings at school. Even though mine were generally pretty average, I used to get a bit nervous before parents' evening. I wonder if anyone else can identify with that. But often before parents' evening came something called a school report, or it might have been called a progress report. And you would find out uh, your grades for that term, perhaps your predicted grades going forward, and then there'd be a little bit of information from the teacher about just how they think that you're doing, and your parents got to read it. Sometimes that could be high praise, other times it could be, you could be in big trouble, basically. Well, I remember one time receiving a report, and it said, um, I think it was in maths, and uh, the teacher just was saying th things were going okay, it was pretty average, and, uh, but then the strange thing was, the teacher kept referring to Adam as a she. She is doing this. She has found this. And um, it just made me feel like the teacher really hadn't shown much of an interest in my progress. It was a, it was a copy and paste job. Now, teachers, we understand that life is very busy and it must be really difficult writing lots and lots of reports. And I'm sure you would never even think of doing something like that. But I was shocked and um, my mum, I think, told her uh, what she thought of that in the, uh, in the parents' evening that came up. Maybe you've had a similar experience. But the great news as Christians is there is one who does really genuinely care about our progress. And that is God. God cares about how we're growing in our faith. He wants us to progress. We saw last week that we can be confident that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus, until Jesus returns to earth. God is working in us in ways that are extraordinary. Sometimes we might feel like we're taking one step forward in our journey of faith and two steps backwards, but we can be confident that God is working in us to make us more like Jesus. And Paul, speaking to the Philippians at the end of chapter 1, and we're going to be looking at this in more detail later on, he speaks of the fact that he wants to be with the Philippians to continue with all of them for their progress and joy in the faith. Friends, let's be encouraged that God is working in us to help us progress. We need to look to him Spend time with him in prayer and in his words. But we can trust God that he's given us his Holy Spirit to help us move forwards and not backwards in the faith. To have joy and to live for Jesus in all that we do. However homeschooling is going, however lockdown is going for you, I pray that you might find joy in living for Jesus and that you might know that God is helping you to progress.